First open in the year 2000. Dallas Keuchel, a left-hander out of Oklahoma, will be on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here. Count now a ball and a strike. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. The one-two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Matt, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that... Kevin Gossman gets the ball for the Orioles in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Big arm from Kevin Gossman, former first-round pick out of LSU. 95-98 to mile-an-hour fastball with sink, a hard-breaking slider. His changeup is his third pitch. He won't go to that much often, but this is top of the rotation kind of stuff. Big time, big time arm. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today. They come in in a... Now Altuve connects. Deep left field. Mancini is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, fellas, there's nobody that I'm more excited to watch play than Carlos Correa. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him having another solid campaign. Batting third, the shortstop, Carlos Correa. Stepping in, Carlos Correa. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He threw first and hustling for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt, some people like to crow about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Pitch misses low, the throw down, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Chopped weakly to the left. He's got to hurry. Throw on to Davis takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Astros leave one, and this is. Here's Chris Davis now. Head to head passed with Dallas Keuchel. Just a two for 14 line, so advantage pitcher here. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Strike one to start the at bat. One and one to count to Chris Davis. Davis, a 32 year old veteran, he was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Time for a look at the Houston Astros on D. Hey, guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers and the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two. Man they really had his number so far in this series. 
That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Here's Mark Trumbo now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. 1-1. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. No score here as we play inning number two. Still a ball and two strikes. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strike. Here's George Springer. His career numbers against Kevin Gossman. He's had some success, five for 11. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Jones retreats out near the hill in center field to make the catch. So digging in now, Will Clark. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. Arms pumping. He's hustling for third. And he's out at third. Might have gotten a little greedy that time. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He also had three hits in the win last night. And right into the shift. And this is foul for the first strike. With two outs, they're not playing him to bunt here. And he didn't show it there. But I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well. And he can definitely run. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone into the upper deck. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five, jeez. Enough is enough. Here's Marlon Gonzalez now. As he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Evan Gaddis now standing in. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a little tapper. Foul ball, however, strike one. Gonzalez stands at second with two gone. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Astros off and running on the solo homer. We've played two. Standing in, Tim Beckham. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Behind 0-2 now. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Tim Beckham goes down for the first out here in inning number three. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Behind 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he'll continue this roll he's on. Make it six strikeouts in a row. Gracious two away. Striding into the box, Andrew Susak. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. And a whiff at a good slider that time. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought no, wrong. Right mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he's 
struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning Orioles able to here's the second baseman Jose Altuve over one here in the early going here's the first pitch to him hard ground ball defense played him perfectly throw on to first in time one away the batter third baseman Allen. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. First pitch of the at bat. Fly ball out toward right field. Rickards on the move, two gone. The batter number one, shortstop. Here's Carlos Correa now. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Didn't waste any time like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. Boy, d -Row, that's awful scary from a pitcher standpoint. But what's it feel like when you hit one as a hitter that you know it's going right at a pitch? Yeah, it's scary from the offensive standpoint as well. You know, you're taught to hit it right back where it came from. But those moments right there make you cringe as you're coming out of the box. We got lucky with that. Not in time as he's able to thwart the pitch out. And now the runner's trying for third. In there, now the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Correa on third with two out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Rickards under it, and that retires the side. One left for Houston. We played three full. We're tied at one. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. In there, strike one. Nope. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. There's a lot of moving parts in some guy's swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Digging in for his second at bat, Manny Machado. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ball one to start the at bat. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Under it is Altuve, and he's got it for the first down. The first base the number 19, Chris. Digging in to try it again, Chris Davis. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. and And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and now. This is a spot right here playing first base. You have to really be on your toes with a runner on first, a left-handed hitter up in a 2-0 count. There's a pretty good chance if he hits this, he's going to hit it hard down that first baseline. So if you're the first baseman right now, be on your toes and be ready for a bullet. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Missed with a slider. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there, that backdoor slider. That's a very difficult pitch to throw, and particularly throw for strike. Just missed that outside corner right there, but a good pitch and a tough take there by the hitter. Takes this the other way to right, and that's in there, base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. Designated hitter, Mark Brumbo. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And that one just missed outside. Mancini at second, scope, at first, two out in the inning. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch, he can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. Grounded back up the middle, scooped up. 
Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Oriole threat goes by the wayside. Here's George Springer. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Center fielder, George Springer. Here's the first pitch to him. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. On his way to second is Springer. Digging hard. He's headed for third. The relay. Well, he is in there with a triple. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to some, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. First pitch on its way. Back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. It's now a two to one ball game. Boy, talk about striking on back to back pitches, Biro. A triple then followed by a single. Big inning lurking here. Yeah, Dan, I think that's a game plan today against this guy right now. Being aggressive in the zone. If he's going to attack, then they're going to pull the trigger. Pitches in the dirt and knocked down, and he'll make it into second easily with a stolen base. This catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. Runner breaks for third. Pitch misses low. The throw down is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. And the two and one pitch. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. It's up and out of here into the archway. Two run home run here for Josh Reddick. His second of the game. And the Astros have taken a four to one lead. He saw a few balls down in the zone earlier in that at bat, but finally got a pitch he liked and promptly deposited over the fence, made the pitcher pay for his mistake, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Marwin. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. I mean, these guys look more like lumberjacks than professional hitters right now. They're hacking at everything. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Grounded weakly to the left. And Beckham's throw is in time at first, one away. Now batting, catcher, Evan Gattis. Digging in now, Evan Gattis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Line toward right center, into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. The second base, number 27. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jose Altuve. No hits to this point. And this ball's pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Now a swing, and this ball is crushed straight away center field. And it's gone as they add still another. Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Matty D, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be fine. d -Row, the hitters are on point. The pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate. And this offense, both offenses, are taking advantage. 
I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants so up at the plate one. right now. They're Georgia. feeling frisky. They're all Carlos. pulling the trigger early. Here's Carlos Correa now. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Runners on his way to third. That's a strike to throw down. Is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Four runs here in this half inning. Lifted in the air out to center field. Jones is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the now batting Tim Beckham he'll begin things here against Dallas Keuchel first pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball it's one and oh and it's a called strike to even the count at one the one one home is in there for strike number two And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. First pitch on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. Two gone. Now battle. In now, Andrew Susak. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. The bouncer up the middle. A step on second for the force, and that'll do it. So no run. Now at the plate, Jeff Bagwell. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know he swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here, but if he gets that pitch again, catches it a grain low, we got action. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. The 1 1. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Jones going back. And this one is gone, a home run. In now, George Springer. Line drive base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on this stuff. Richard Blyer makes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Now pitching for the Orioles, number 48. Into the box now, Will Clark. Pitch outside, the throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Josh Reddick. And she'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Blyer is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. Swing and a drive to right center. Hey, that ball's going to be way out of here. Back to back home run. Well, in hockey, they call it a hat trick. Hitting three home runs in one outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. He's having an afternoon he'll never forget. Into the box, Marwin Gonzalez. He swings and crushes it. 
Oh, my, there is no doubt about this one. And they've done it again. Back to back to back home run. This pitcher must think he's cursed or something. He gives up back to back homers, is obviously rattled a little bit. And the next batter barely even waits for the first pitch to cross the plate before he crushes it out, too. This is incredible. Evan Gaddis now standing in as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And there's one away. At the plate, Jose Altuve. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Turning for second is Altuve. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing in a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it, all right, but he managed to catch all of that baseball, lacing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. Strike taken, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Looked like a cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Digging in, Carlos Correa. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Carlos Correa. From the stretch. Base hit into right center. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safe. Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Machado is there. Throw on to first. Will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. A wave and a miss. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Here's Manny Machado now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Machado now on 0 and 1. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left, hooking just a little, but it bends just foul into the second deck. Q shot here out towards short and that's in for a base hit make it a one for three games so far. Hey with two strikes right there he didn't try and do too much he took what the pitcher gave him got the front foot down and was able to fist feed a soft liner over the infielder's head for a knock. No balls in one strike. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there a ball and two strikes. Machado base runner at first with one out got him and he goes down on strikes for the third time it's been a rough game for him at the plate couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there and he struck out twice before that one so he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight Bagwell will put this one away and the side is retired Orioles leave one they trail by leading out for the Astros First offering on its way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll ricochet off the facade out there in left center. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. 
when you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. Popped up. And he'll reach first safely. Dan, after this infield hit right here, this guy has to be so frustrated. He's been having a rough outing, and he's not discriminating the way he gives him up. No, he is a yellow he's going to do after this one. He's going to go to the movies and watch the movie about himself, the Rocky Horror Pitching Show, because this has been a nightmare. You can tell he's starting to get frustrated out there. He's not usually used to getting knocked around the yard a little bit, and you can tell he's starting to feel for it. This is pulled into right. Rickard is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Standing in, Marwin Gonzalez. And their runners at the corners now. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now this is chopped foul to home plate. It's 0-1. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. One there. On to Davis at first. It's a double play. And Billy Wagner will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Jump set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A little bouncer. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Behind 0-2 now. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Here it comes. And a good slider there from Wagner. No balls in a strike. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Riding in once again, Adam Jones. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And Jones fails to come up with that one as he falls behind here, 0 and 2 now. A ball and two strikes to Adam Jones. And it's to 2 and 2 now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. He went with the off speed there once he threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Jan Mourinhoz comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Digging in once again, Evan Gaddis, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Now with the play, Jose Altuve will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. He's set and the pitch. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. Third baseman, number two. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Mancini's back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Bottom of the seventh inning will go at least one plate appearance deeper after the two out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Strike called. Now the throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Rickards on his horse. And the inning is over. Ready now for Baltimore. Andrew Susak. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Owen won the count. And 
this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. When a guy's featuring big-time velocity like this, you have to be on the fastball. It's your only chance. You'll tip your hat on some nasty off-speed stuff, but you've got to be ready for the heater. One ball and two strikes to count. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Now here it comes. And it's fouled away. The 0-1 pitch. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Two things pitchers really love, called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're looking up at a 12 to 1 deficit. Here's George Springer. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard towards center. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. Coming to the plate now, Will Clark. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hit out towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Base is empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about hitting singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. d -Roy, I, I, it can't be better said. I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two-strike pitch. No get-me-over curveballs, no get-me-over change-ups. Every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Here's the 0 1 pitch. What a big pass at a slider that gets past him. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as, in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch, that slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in, and still then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. Hit sharply on the ground. Scope dives. What a stop. What an outstanding play to end the inning. Here's Manny Machado now, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Had him off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. Correa stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. Two gone. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Scope. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh, ran it in on the fists. Nothing and one. On the ground to the left side. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So the top of the ninth keeps a rolling as he comes through with two away. 
designated hitter, Mark. Here's Mark Trumbo now. The first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys...